kids want to come down this morning. I don't know how many kids we have, but we can, we can always have more. And even if you think you're too old, come on down anyway. If you feel like you're young at heart, come on down. Because, you know, everybody likes candy, right? Okay. Well, I'm so glad you're here this morning, just the two of you. And um, I see we, we brought back the big bag of box of candy today, the big basket, okay? So you, multiple choices this morning. Um, and I have a couple things I want to give you this morning. We're going to read this together, okay? Here's one of them. And here's the other one. There's that one. Okay. Oh, I gave you two. Thank you, Corbin. Okay, so even though Christmas is technically over, on Friday we celebrated something called Epiphany, when we celebrate when the, the three kings came to see Jesus. And so today I'm going to share a little children's moment that has to do with M&Ms, of all things. The M&M gospel, okay? So, if you hold an M&M up, it looks, and it has the M, okay? M is for the manger where Jesus was born, okay? You can turn it one way, and it looks like an E, okay? And E can be for the east where the star shone bright, or E is for everyone and reminds us that Jesus came to show his love to us all, John 3.16. And then you can turn the E to, or the M to make it look like a three, for the three wise men, or also when it looks like a three, the three reminds us of the three crosses on the hill that Jesus died on our sins, for our sins. Okay, then we have the M. There's a couple different ways the M can be used too. M is for the manger, like I said, but M is for the morning and the orange sunrise when Jesus rose. Okay? And then we can turn it upside down and do a W. And M upside down makes a W. And W is for the world. Jesus told us to tell the whole world that he loves them. And also W is for worship, for hallelujah, to praise God's name. And then also let's turn it back to make another E. And E is for eternity. And that's how long we can be with Jesus in heaven if we accept him as our Savior. So, you know, some people might think these are just candy and that they're really good. Do you like candy? Do you like M&M's? Yes. Okay. Do you like all those flavors of M&M's? Like peanut and caramel and peanut butter and all. You like the caramel? Okay. So it's, but, the, but one thing I want to tell you that they aren't just candy. We can use them to tell people about Jesus. So I gave you these pieces of paper that you can use to take to your family and you can maybe take a couple extra bags of M&M's to your siblings if you want, or to your mom or dad, because I have plenty. And if anybody else wants copies of these, I have some extra copies of the M&M gospel that you can share. Um, so let's say a, a quick prayer, okay? Dear God, we are so thankful for the love that you showed us when you sent your son Help us to worship him and to share his love with the whole world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, so thank you very much for coming down. Now it's time for Children's Church. I know Ms. Kim is back there. You want to take some more? You can take some more candy besides M&M's? Okay. There's, actually, yeah, there's other candy in there too. So there's some Skittles and there's some, I don't know what else is in there, so... If any adults are really wanting some candy, there's plenty. So now I have the reading of our scripture this morning. If 